Welcome to A Course in Miracles Workbook for Students, Lesson 58. These ideas are for review today. Review of Lesson 36. My holiness envelops everything I see. From my holiness does the perception of the real world come. Holiness is a word for wholeness, holy, whole. So from my wholeness does the perception of the real world come. Having forgiven, I no longer see myself as guilty. I can accept the innocence that is the truth about me. You are innocent, darling. There's nothing you could ever say, do, or experience that could take any of your innocence away from you. Seen through understanding eyes, the holiness of the world is all I see. For I can picture only the thoughts I hold about myself. Set yourself free so that you can set everyone else free. I can picture only the thoughts I hold about myself. If you hold yourself guilty, you'll hold everyone else guilty. But the truth is that you are innocent. Review of Lesson 37. My holiness blesses the world. The perception of my holiness does not bless me alone. Everyone and everything I see in its light shares in the joy it brings to me. There is nothing that is apart from this joy because there is nothing that does not share my holiness. As I recognize my holiness, so does the holiness of the world shine forth for everyone to see. Review of Lesson 38. There is nothing my holiness cannot do. My holiness is unlimited in its power to heal because it is unlimited in its power to save. What is there to be saved? What is there to be saved from except illusions? We don't have to save people from reality because reality is already perfect, whole, and complete. What is there to be saved from except illusions? And what are illusions? What are all illusions except false ideas about myself? My holiness undoes them all by asserting the truth about me. In the presence of my holiness, which I share with God himself, all idols vanish. Review of Lesson 39. My holiness is my salvation. Since my holiness saves me from all guilt, recognizing my holiness is recognizing my salvation. We're not creating it, we're recognizing it because it's already there. You are already, you are already whole and complete. It is also recognizing the salvation of the world. Once I have accepted my holiness, nothing can make me afraid. And because I am unafraid, everyone must share my understanding, which is the gift of God to me and to the world. Review of Lesson 40. I am blessed as a son of God. Herein lies my claim to all good and only good. I am blessed as a son of God. All good things are mine because God intended them for me. I cannot suffer any loss or deprivation or pain because of who I am. My Father supports me, protects me, and directs me in all things. His care for me is infinite and is with me forever. I am eternally blessed as his son. In the Bible, Christ said, the Father and I are one. And he invited us to be at one with him, with the Father. And this is not a unique concept to one particular religion. It is a beautiful and deep and profound truth that is taught in many different philosophies and religions past the dogma, past the hatred and the contempt and the power, power plays is the truth. The Father and I are one. I am eternally blessed as his son. Thank you for joining me today. I will see you tomorrow for lesson 59. Thank you.